So for me, I know through my sister that she was unwell. I looked on her Facebook page that week, and it was about five days since the last time I was on the page. And I was at the office, and she just came to my mind and my spirit in a very strong way. I say, let me go to a page. And the first post that I saw was no more than a minute old, saying that the Ruha had passed off. And so to me, I can just say to her, thank you for having been my friend as she had been. Indiana, uh, and uh, I've also been to Uzbekistan with David, and um, one of the things that everybody knows about Uzbekistan is that it's a culture of hospitality, and we had many, you know, we've had many meals in Uzbekistan where people fed us and welcomed us graciously, including um, at the home of Shurat, Neilfar's brother, and I just, in thinking about Neil Farr, she exemplifies that, but like everything, she made it her own. She, you know, she lived that hospitality through her generosity of spirit in a completely unique way. So whereas when we ate with, you know, all these Uzbek friends, there were certain dishes, you know, that are traditionally served. And when I think of all the meals that Neil Farr made for us, it was food that I had just never eaten before. Like, she had no name for anything. <laughs> Anytime I asked her, well, how did you make it? She could never tell me. You know, she was like, oh, I just threw this and that. And, you know, it was, but it was always delicious. <laughs> and um, I am remembering this one meal that was delicious. And, um, you know, it was meat on a bone that I had never seen before. And I said, what is this? What's this meat? And she said, and I, I was thinking it was goat, but she said, oh, it's beef. And she, I think she just was, she just thought we would be somehow turned off if it was goat. So she wouldn't tell us. <laughs> but I just, uh, she, that was just one of many ways that she gave to people. And, and I, you know, in, in hearing the story about the, the frilly green and white dress, I remember that she, um, she brought many little gifts to our children um, when they were little, and one of them was a green frilly dress. Oh, this is funny because my daughter has a green frilly <laughs> 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 She must have gotten a bunch of green frilly <laughs> And it, you know, it, I remember we, we, have, we, have, we do have one picture of our younger daughter in that green frilly dress. It's one of the only times she ever wore a dress. Yeah, she did. Yeah. So many yeah. never wears She wore a once for the picture. Yeah. And it was in our sort of costume box for years, and lots of kids put that dress on. And um, so that thank you for sharing that memory, and um, thanks to all of you. It's great to hear what you had to say. Hello, may I just have this summary of ask for your permission to leave, please. Thank you once again. So I apologize on this. Thank you very much.
So she was with uh, her friend named Sarah. Yes. So um, I served them, and uh, after all, we, we become friends and close friends. But I won't go through all these things. In March 15, to, 15 of this March, we was talking, and uh, I have a lot of message where she left in my uh, email because we talked through uh, WhatsApp. So she left me a message, I called her that up. But the most important thing it was uh, she think about all her friends. She's like, Alex, if something happened to me, I didn't tell to all my friends, I didn't say anything to my friends. I said, hey, you know me, I know you. Nothing going to happen to you. We will pray and nothing going to happen to you. And we was laughing and uh, she's saying, you know, she's working now on the wheelchair. And I said, then for you on wheelchair? So we're talking, we're laughing, all kinds of stuff. Until in April, the least called me to let me know what's going on. Did we hear about Will Fire there? I was like, Will Fire, yeah, we talked maybe last week, but since last week, I was calling her, I was left a message. Even though one of the messages said, you know, Will Fire, you know, when they say no news, it means like uh, good news. So I hope everything's okay. And the next day, you call me and say, You fire, she's gone. So, but she just want me to let you guys know she's okay. She thought, she thought about you, all her friends. I have uh, some of her uh, stuff, if you, you guys are lonely, you know. I saw another American doctor here in Dubai just to get a second opinion and this was an asshole, some asshole from, I don't know, from hell. You know her language. Yes, yes, yes. She's not language. He looked straight in my face and I thought, you know, we were just talking about should I do biopsy of three organs or should I do biopsy of one organ? He just started telling me straight in my face, oh no, you know, it's a cancer, I'll ask you, it's over. It's basically pack your bags, it's all for you. I said, what are you talking about? You know, even people, when they first read in your biopsy, you don't have the blood test to show anything. What are you talking about? You don't even know me, okay? You think I lost a lot of weight? I didn't lose a lot of weight. I only lost four, five kilo. This is not a symptom. You know, people who have major problems, they lose 20 kilo like this, no? And he said, he was still an asshole. He's saying, no, no, don't you know? I said, look, I said, there's so many ways to, to, to fight this. And we, 21st century, we're not in the, we're not in the uh, stone age, okay? We're not somewhere, God knows, in the jungle. We are, we are in Dubai, okay? And, you know, in the world, in America, in Europe, anywhere, you can do surgery, you can do so many things, right? Treatments. He said, no, no, it's, it's incurable. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's no, there's no treatment for it. I looked at him, I was like, what an asshole, what a stupid asshole. I got up and I said, you know what, explain my mind, my, my, fuck you, okay? So I left. <laughs> that was the time when he broke me. He broke me down like crazy. I came outside of the hospital. I was shaking. I was so upset. I was crying, saying, not, you know what, Alex, I was not crying for me to say, oh, okay, fine. One side was to say, yeah, this is it, this is it, this is the end of my life. Uh, what, what, you know, what, what am I supposed to do now? How much time do I have? And the second thing was, I was just thinking, how much is going to make everybody upset, cry, my family, everybody? How are they going to take this? No? You understand? So, I have a more of wow. these things to let, you know, just to let you guys know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
fighting, me and her, we kept fighting. And a little thing, and, and because she wanted Lisa's attention, and I wanted Lisa's attention, and it was just every time we met, you know, we would lie, and, and you know, the funny thing is, no matter whether, you know, we'd fight, and then she would laugh, and that's all I remember about her, is her laughter. And, you know, I, I would tell her, why are we even fighting? And then she would start laughing, and then she would I don't know, I don't know, you know, fuck this, you know, shit, you know? And I, then we would make up, then the next time we'll fight, then we're on the Facebook, we're fighting, then we're on, you know, email, we're fighting, because we just, we just wanted, you know, our sister's attention, and I'm like, is intruding, you know, in my family. But I loved her. I loved her so much. Like she was so unique, you know, and you know, after we've written like so many emails of cursing each other and then, you know, she called me or I call her and be like, we shouldn't do this, you know. And she's like, yeah, fuck that, you know, don't worry about that email or you know, whatever is the Facebook. You know, who we like back and forth, she, you're not my friend, you know, okay, now you're my friend. And but the only thing I remember about her is her laughter, you know, her laughter. And I've never seen somebody so happy in no matter what situation she's going through. She's just going to laugh about it. She's going to curse out. And, you know, I just, when Liz told me, you know, in fact, Lillian told me, did you hear about her? And I'm like, I'm praying for her, you know, I'm praying and she's going to get well. And she's like, no, Yolupa is no more. I could not believe it until today, you know, I just, I've not accepted it. And she's just there and every time it just plays in my head, it's just her laughter. And I, I know she's just like, right now she's just cursing me, fucking go ahead with your life and I'm all right, you know, I'm okay. And, and I just thank God for giving her, you know, being a part of our family, a part of our friend. And, you know, I just wish her peace wherever she is. And now she's in the hands of the Lord. I have um, one message to play from a friend of Neil Farris, um, who's in Ghana. And he sent uh, an audio message that I'd like to play. His name is David Papo, and Samantha was him very well as well. Hello, hi. Um, just to um, show my love and sending a short message for for Nilufa's memorial, and I I would say a very big thank you to Samantha, Lisa, and everyone who's. Um, joining hands to celebrate the life of Nilufa. Um, may God bless all of you. As we all know, um, Nilufa was simply, you know, an amazing woman. And um, she really had a good heart. I met Nilufa in 2012 and um, we became friends uh, back in Dubai. And every time I, I go to Dubai, I, I go to Dubai often, so Every time I went to Dubai, I, I, I met to Nulufa. She gave me a lot of legal advice on how to do business with people in, in, in Emirati, people in the Arab world. And that went a long way to help me in whatever I'm doing related to oil and gas and the mining industrial sector. Nulufa was, oh my God. She was such a, honestly, I don't know exactly, I don't know what words to use to actually express or explain how special Nilufa was. You all knew how great she was as a friend, um, as a sister, and you know, she would be there for you in seconds. And I just actually, I remember the last time I met her in November, I had dinner with her. Um, we sat down and had a long, long, long chat. And um, I was actually telling her about someone that I was uh, planning to spend the rest of my life with and um, whilst I was sitting there with her in Dubai talking to her about that person, unfortunately that person was cheating on me in Ghana. <laughs> and you know, just by the way, um, so